Okay, we're in Bowen Creek Park. And this is a lilac. They're uh, still in bloom, but... But uh, they're going to be dying off here pretty soon. If you don't know, lilac smells really good. It's native around these parts in the northwest of the United States of America. This is another one in the shade. This one has more sprouts on it. So you can see, there, see the brown on there. So it's getting ready to, to die off here as far as that. And uh, I think that's a dogwood or a magnolia. And that's a Doug fir, Doug, Douglas fir. That big tree there is a Douglas fir. And uh, these kind with the red branches, I, I forget the name of them now. I, I used to know, but my memory isn't very good anymore. Oh, that's a good shot. See the sun creeping through there. <coughs> well, I want to practice uh, a song that I was thinking about doing for YouTube, uploading. This is just the practice, but uh, going down that road feeling bad. Problem is, is lately I've really been in a serious confidence crisis. I have a loud ringing in my ear and I'm hard of hearing. It's getting harder to put up a decent video where it sounds half halfway decent. Harder and harder all the time. I gotta in mix down when I listen back up it's at uh, like ninety-five hundred being the loudest. And I still can't really I can hear it, but it just doesn't sound normal. Uh, <clears throat> so I think maybe if I give my ears a break they'll kind of rebound into their normal state. So anyway, uh, wish me luck. Here it goes. I'm going down that road feeling bad. I'm going down that road feeling bad. I'm going down that road feeling sad, Lord, Lord. And I ain't gonna be treated this way. I'm going where the climate suits my clothes. I'm going where the climate suits my clothes. I'm going where the soul is free to roam, Lord, Lord. And I ain't going to be treated this way. That's a pine there, pine tree. See the needles? These are more on the eastern part of the state where it's hotter, but you see them every now and again. Anyway, continue on here. Oh, uh, where was I? Oh yeah. I'm going where the water tastes like wine. I'm going where the water tastes like wine. I'm gonna leave these worries far behind, Lord, Lord. And I ain't gonna be treated this away. Your two dollar shoe hurts my feet. Your two dollar shoe hurts my feet. I need a two hundred dollar pair of Nikes to fit my feet, Lord, Lord. And I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna be treated this way. I'm down in the jail, I'm on my knees. I said I'm down in the jail, I'm on my knees. Down in the jail, come set me free, Lord, Lord. And I ain't gonna be treated this way. Ooh, I'm out of breath. They feed you on cornbread and beans. They feed you on cornbread and beans. I'm down in the jail, I'm on my knees, Lord, Lord. And I ain't gonna be treated this way. Last words, I'm going down that road feeling bad. I'm going down that road feeling bad. I'm going down that road, I won't be sad no more. 
And I ain't a gonna, I said I ain't a gonna be treated this way. Little little do do do. I know I, I suck. I know I do. Everybody says it sounds good, but I know they're pulling my leg. I know you're just, you know, you don't want to hurt my feelings. That's okay. I don't blame you. I'm the same way. If I hear something that sucks, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to come out and say, hey, you know, buddy, you might want to practice a little bit more before you post your next video because it's not sounding too hot. I wish somebody would say that to me as long as they were serious and can give me some constructive criticism. Um, but look at all those lilacs there. So I'm pretty. Smells really good too. I wish I had a smell a tube. Smell a tube uh, so you could smell all the lilacs. And it's uh, late July. I don't even know what date it is. But it's getting late in the month. Late July. I'm in Boeing Creek Park. Boeing is a, the cat that uh, started the Boeing Aircraft Company building airplanes. They opened up for business in 19 and 16. And uh, with the money he made, he bought this land up here uh, so he can hunt. It's north of uh, downtown Seattle. And he would come up here. At the time, it was pretty much a wilderness, just kind of like how you see it now. But now there's houses and condos and everything all around. He bought this land so he can kind of a kind of a getaway retreat. Back in 1916, you know, even though it's only about 10 miles from downtown Seattle, that was quite a trip back in 1916. They had the Model T by then, uh, but not many roads put in yet. So uh, he would come up here to get away from the world for a while think things over, come up with his new ideas for new planes, and do some hunting and fishing. And then uh, his estate, either he, him or his estate donated it to uh, the parks department. Now it's a park, so we can all come here and uh, sing songs in the park and goof off, get a suntan on a beautiful late July summer's day in the year 20 and 22 in the year of our Lord. Signing off for now. Oh look, wait, I think I found another Stonehenge. Looks like another Stonehenge over there. Can you see it? First of all, these rocks don't look like they just got here by accident. I think somebody put these here. Maybe Bigfoot. Anyway, Rocks don't normally naturally sit on top of each other. So we have a spirit monk, a spirit animal about in this park um, setting rocks on top of each other trying to tune into a higher power here. That's what's happening. Beautiful day if you like sunshine. I do sometimes. It's supposed to get pretty hot though later on. It's supposed to get up to 94 in a couple days, which is uh, considered uh, a heat wave. Most of the country would probably take 94 in a heartbeat, especially in the Southland though, right about now. Texas, all the southern states in the United States, pretty much any city north of the equator is on fire right now. All the Sunday talk shows were talking about, oh, it's global warming, global warming. They even had Al Gore on all the Sunday talk shows comparing uh, climate deniers to uh, the Evaldi uh, police that didn't go in there to rescue the children. They didn't hear the cries of the children being slaughtered by the monster with the gun. And Al Gore compared them to uh, climate deniers. We're denying that climate change is real and is happening now, so therefore we're like the Uvalde police that didn't do anything. And soon the world's going to end in, what, seven more years, AOC, who is really, uh, really 
probably the most important politician in the United States of America, stated a few years ago the world's going to end by the year 2030. 12 years. That was in 2018. And this is 20 and 22. So we got eight years to live or thereabouts before the climate burns us all, all, all up. Which, uh, you know, maybe that's okay. You know, that's all right. Things have gotten too crazy. We, we hate each other too much now. We all hate each other. Our bodies and our minds and our spirits are full of hate for people that don't think, look, and act like us. So maybe, uh, maybe it's better to just kind of let nature take its course and not try to fiddle with uh, the climate. Don't try to tackle it. Just let it work its uh, natural way of going about cleansing the earth like it has for, well, for 6,000 years, I guess. Some say the earth is only 6,000 years old. Science has proven it's older than that, though. And I believe that's a lot older than that. I'm sure it's been around for at least 6 billion years, maybe longer. 6 billion years. What came before that? The dinosaurs? I don't know. <laughs> uh, what came before Earth? What came before the sun? What became before the universe? What was here? Nothing? Nothing was here? That, that, it would take a genius to understand what the word nothing means. Nothing, there's no such thing as nothing. At least I, I can't uh, fathom nothing. There had to be something before the earth, sun, moon, stars, planets were all here. You know what was here? The Word. The Word was here. The Word of God. Signing off. Take care. God bless you. And the horse you rode in on.